Hello everyone. Today we are going to start with Lightning JS, which is a very powerful, very good performance and very good for ODT development. It has a very great performance in terms of FPS, in terms of uh, graphics and everything. It is a very good, very powerful Lightning JS library of a JavaScript. Today we are going to start. We'll be installing first Node.js to get a, get a started with Lightning JS. Go ahead and download Node.js. Here you have a Windows, Mac OS and Linux version. You go ahead and download it. Once you download this, you should be able to see in your terminal, just type node-v. It should give you a version like this. If it is giving you a version, that means your node is successfully installed. Then we'll go to Lightning.js website and we will see what are its performance and what are its advantages, disadvantages, everything. Here you can see Lightning JS is very powerful in case of FPS and everything as compared to HTML and CSS. So if you are planning to use Lightning JS in a setup box or low end device, so that is a very great choice. I would say in future it is going to be used in every smart TV or every low end devices like setup boxes. Here you can see it has they have given some applications in case of performance. It, it uses WebGL in case and if WebGL is not available it will use Canva Story which is also great but it has some impact on the performance but most of the latest browser having support of WebGL. You can see we are having examples community news roadmap and everything we will go documentations So in the documentation of Lightning JS, you can see here we are having Lightning Core, Lightning SDK, and Lightning CLI. To run this, we should be having a Lightning CLI installed or on our laptop. We'll go with Lightning CLI. You can see here we'll be having a getting started guide. Go ahead into your getting started guide here. You can see they have given one npm command that we will be installing for Lightning CLI. Copy this command. Go into your VS Code terminal click and hit enter once this is installed i have already installed it so i'm not going to install it again once lightning js cli is installed just type lng hyphen capital v you should be having a version here like this that means your lightning cli is installed successfully once this is done we'll move ahead here they are saying create a new lightning application here you can see they have given couple of commands use lng create to install your to create your first lightning application and this is the folder structure that look like so here they have given only in the vs core node modules src your app.js and, and first file to launch your application everything some statics they have given ESA lint metadata.json project related metadata in package.json and settings.json app specific or platform specific settings we can modify let's go ahead and first create our lightning application lng create and hit enter it will give some series of prompts it will ask first name of your lightning application let's give a demo yes yes and do you want to write your app in typescript or in lightning js i will say we are going to go ahead with javascript so we'll click on no do you want to enable eslint i would say no for now and it will start creating our lightning application here you can see it has created one demo folder It is asking for us to install the dependencies. I would say yes, we need to install. No, we don't want to initialize our repository. Here you can see it has create, created a couple of folders, static, src, and metadata.json file, which is having some information related to our project or application. The package.json, it will have some dependencies, description of our project, settings, it will have some app settings, platform settings. Here you can see we are having a server that is true, logs are true, and our path default path is set to static. If you want, you can change it. So, clear color. So, by default, you will see a transparent white color here. Okay, so our application has been installed successfully. You can see here. 
it has a background which is using an image background.png so utils dot asset so it we are not giving the complete path of image where it is stored we are using utils dot asset and it is directly pointing to this location which is dot slash static okay so here root then this is static folder inside the static folder we are going to have images in the background.png that's why here we are directly assigning from images and background.png here same with logo we are having a text let's try to change this text to hello all let's just click on save and now we will run our application to run this application first we need to go to that directory as to cd directory name com just press the tab we'll go here clear it and then just hit lng tab lng tab what it will do it will run three commands internally the first is lng build then lng serve and lng watch okay so if we don't want separate, separate command to run in parallel it's better one command they have given that is lng dev which will automatically build our for build our project serve our project as well as it will watch out for any changes that you are doing in your project once you hit save it will automatically build and serve again so let's hit enter you, you can see here it has created one build folder in the build folder you are going to have one index.html file if you don't want to go ahead with that way once you do lng build and you can directly do like this here if you don't want just directly click and show preview on the right side you should be able to see a preview of our application this is the preview of our application here you can see it has hello all but i'll show i'll not show you from here so we'll go in our chrome browser and you can see we are having one hello all okay so this is our basic or getting started with lightning js how you can create your simple application if you want you can modify a couple of things here you can see they have given some animation you can change this text like hello all you can play with your font size color here you can change the logo you can change the background this is the thing here they have given index.js file here let's say if you have to change this you don't want your file to be named as app.js you can change it to home.js and modify it accordingly here as well it will work fine not in so you can have font as well installed on your project inside a static folder and then you can use it in your app.js this is the way so what you will do you'll create one get fonts and you just return the array of objects of your all the fonts installed on your static folder okay so we'll see you in the next video where we will be showing you one very cool extension of uh, lightning js and then we'll be creating one very simple project with some images with some alignments and, and some other stuff that we'll be doing so bye bye and see you